This is Access LaPorte County, Channel 97. Coming up next is the December 26th meeting of the Michigan City Water Works Board. You can find more information for this meeting at www.accesslaportcounty.org. Cause me of the water board order. Approval of the record of the executive session <clears throat> held December 12th. I'll make a motion to approve the executive session that was held on December 12th, 2023. Second. Motion second seconded to approve the record of the executive session on December 12th. Any additional discussion? Very none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Who are the minutes from the board meeting held December 12th? Motion to approve the minutes of the board meeting held December 12th, 2023. I'll second that. Motion second we approve the minutes from the previous board meeting held on December 12th. Any additional discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Purchase orders. <laughs> uh, for you, I have a list of four purchase orders. Uh, the first one is to USA Blue Book uh, Lab Supplies. Uh, this is a confirming order. Uh, we needed some more supplies in uh, short order um, for $3,469.28. Uh, the next item is to Beecher. <clears throat> 160,000 window envelopes, uh, that's for billing, uh, for $9,280. Uh, the third one is to USA Blue Book. It's a heating element for the water still in the lab. Uh, this is confirming for $1,138.80. Uh, we need that still operational so that we can have a pure water that is purified to the level it's necessary for laboratory testing. Um, and then uh, number four is to a uh, Midwest meter. Uh, this is meters and transponders for $14,037. I'll make a motion to approve the list of purchase orders dated 12 26 2023. I'll second it. Motion second, we approve the purchase orders <coughs> dated 12 26. Any additional discussion? Okay, none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Claims. Motion to approve the list of claims dated December 26, 2023. Second that. Motion to second to approve the claims as of December 26th. Any additional discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Financial statements, Chris. Okay, we'll just run through our uh, cash flow for the month quickly. We took in uh, $610,126 in uh, receipts, and we spent $492,052 in disbursements, not including our monthly transfers. Inventory purchases were $26,347, and our capital expenditures were $25,999. That just was an ending balance of $415,959 for the month. And then on page three, so pretty uneventful month. Uh, most of the numbers are close to what the forecast would be, except our source of supply and pumping expense line is high. We had um, tank inspections and tank cleaning uh, were thrown in there. That amounted to almost thirty thousand. Our net loss for the month was thirty-eight thousand four hundred and thirty. And our year-to-date net loss is one hundred thirty-three thousand one hundred and sixty-six. And those numbers do include our depreciation expense. On page four, uh, the only line out of sync here is our contracted services, which is where our tank painting and our tank cleaning uh, items fell. And that's actually it, and I'll tell you that unless you have any questions. Okay, any questions, of course? Make a motion to accept the uh, financial statement from Chris dated November 30th, 2023. I'll second it. There's a motion to second that we 
accept the financial that's presented on November 30th. Any additional discussion? We are now in order. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Approval of main extension, Gulfwood Road, Beverly Shores. Uh, before you, I have a, a memo concerning an extension that was requested. Um, there is a uh, short, if you look on uh, the map on the second page, um, this is in Beverly Shores. This would be a uh, line that branches off of the main on Broadway and heads west. Um, there is a uh, existing property at the end of this, uh, and, and this is a private road. Um, there is a house at the end of it that has asked for water in the past, but could not afford the, the cost of running the line all the way back to it. Um, there's a uh, buyer, uh, uh, our gentleman, that's uh, going to resubdivide and develop. The, there's uh, three lots that he's redeveloping. Um, to the uh, basically between that existing house and Broadway, and so um, those would need water. Um, so the suggestion to that gentleman was to get the cost split three ways. He would have two lots that need water, and then these other folks would pay for the other third. Um, so basically, the project is 320 feet of two-inch copper. This is, uh, I guess, more of a service manifold than it is an actual main, uh, but we have to quote it as a main and so on. Um, the total cost to do the project is 33903 uh, The materials of that were 21502 um, we did apply the three-year revenue refund for the three proposed properties. Um, the total materials to be shared would be uh, 18,194. Um, then the department would cover 3,308 of materials um, with the labor estimate of about 12,401. Department's portion would be 15,709. And the uh, the developer requesting the quote would, would be uh, responsible for $12,129, and the other property owner would be responsible for $6,065. <clears throat> most likely this project wouldn't take place until after the end of January, um, on January 24th, uh, the town of Beverly Shores will be making their final uh, payment for the uh, bond that they took out when they built the water system out there. And according to the agreements in place, uh, we'll be taking over full ownership at that time of the entire system. Mm -hmm. so. so all you need recommendation right now is to provide a quote. Is that yeah. correct to the developer? Yeah. Okay. Basically, yes. Your thoughts? Looks good to me. It seems, I read about it, it seemed fine. I'll make a motion to approve the main extension quote on uh, Golf, Golf Wood Road in Beverly Shores as recommended. I'll second it. Motion to second that we <coughs> allow the superintendent to quote project on Gulf Wood Road and Beverly Shores. Any additional discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. All right, the board meeting is scheduled for next year. Yes, um, so I took a look at the calendar and with uh, the way that the leap year is hitting us, um, it's going to push us into a conflict. Normally, we meet on second and fourth Tuesdays. Um, I do have a current uh, 2024 calendar on the wall. Oh. Um, I didn't have, I haven't received any uh, desktop types. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, we would meet on the 9th and 23rd of January, which is a standard second and fourth, uh, the 13th and 27th of February. March 12th and 26th, but then April, 
Um, on April 9th, we would normally have a meeting, but that week is the week of the uh, Indiana Section AWWA Annual Conference. So I'd like to push that meeting back a week to the 16th. And then we would push the next meeting back a week to the 30th. And what that'll do is it'll leave us two weeks in between, mm -hmm. a week a week in between each meeting. So we won't have a meeting and then a meeting the following week. Um, and then uh, the 14th and 28th of May, uh, June 11th and 25th right now, um, we have, have not decided if there would be any uh, desire uh, or intention to attend the ACE conference, that's the um, AWWA's national conference. Um, it's going to be in California in that week of June, but like I said, I haven't made any decisions as to whether anybody's going to go or not. Um, so if that does happen, we'll address it. Um, we'll have plenty of time. It's not something that, not a decision that could be made at the last minute. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, the 9th and 23rd of July, the 13th and 27th of August, the 10th and 24th of September, 8th and 22nd of October, 12th and 26th of November. And then in December, uh, the 10th is the second Tuesday, but the fourth Tuesday is the 24th, which is Christmas Eve. Uh, it's a holiday for the department. Um, I didn't think anybody would want to come here and have a meeting on Christmas Eve. Yeah. <laughs> so I, my suggestion is that we move back one day and meet on Monday, December 23rd. Mm -hmm. for that meeting. Um, I looked and as far as I can tell uh, there's no other I don't believe there's any other departments besides historic review board that meets on the fourth Monday. So it shouldn't be a conflict for any of us. Um, so that's, that's the suggestion I have for the board meetings. All right. We don't need to approve this. Do we? Mm -hmm. you... I no, probably not. No. No. It's, it's... Okay. It sounds good. Right. As long as we're apprised of any upcoming upcoming changes to this list, that should be fine. It's a long way out. Exactly. Well, like I said, there we we should know plenty in advance. The only time we've ever had to make a last minute decision was. Um, when I got sick, or if for some reason we wouldn't have a quorum uh, due to other folks being sick or unavailable. So, shouldn't have uh, a reason to move any of them. All right. That was okay, old business. Um, under old business, um, I did want to bring out uh, we our next meeting being on January 9th. Uh, on account of the fact that we did not uh, have the uh, board dinner after our last meeting due to well, uh, Beth wasn't available and I, I had COVID. I'm sure you guys didn't want to eat dinner with me then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, so I'd like to have our meeting at 6 p.m. on the 9th. If this is okay with everybody, and uh, then we'll make sure that the uh, media is made aware of the change of time for that meeting. All right, is that it for old business? Yeah, new business. I didn't have anything for new business right now. Anybody else in your new business? Public comment. Board member comments. I just wish everybody a happy holiday season. Thank you. Yeah. Somebody like to move to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. I'll second it.